I don't even know where to begin. I'm like, I feel. I don't know. I'm mad. I'm sad. Some days I feel good. Usually around my clients, and then I feel okay because they're not like. I don't know. It's like they don't remind me of her. It's just kind of crazy because I spent a lot of time with my clients while I was pregnant with her. Which I'm kind of mad about. I sometimes feel like it's my fault that this happened. I know that sounds silly and stupid. It's come no reason why what happened to my little sweet Ava happened. I think I need to see a therapist. <clears throat> so I got smile and I tell everybody it's okay and then they start to cry and they're like, oh my god, like how did this such something happen so bad to a beautiful person like you and you have such a sweet spirit and you're such a sweetheart and I'm just like who cares? None of that matters because like, what I wanted was my baby girl. She's not here with me. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. So mad. So mad. I can't even. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm just so mad. I'm so hurt. I swear it's like that's all I think about. If I don't go to therapy, I'm going to drive myself crazy. I don't know. I have a question, guys. But I'm upset. I wanted that so bad. Like, I love my little boys to death. I love them to life. I love them so much. Like, I would not trade them for the world. But when I was a little girl, I used to dream of having a daughter. I used to have a daughter when I was a little girl. I don't know if y'all remember Baby Alive, but I had one. She was my heart. And my auntie used to take me to this, um, a kitty like thrift store. And I used to buy clothes for her, I used to change her diaper, she had a car seat. Whenever I would go to my grandma's house to get babysat, she went and I loved that doll as if it was my own. And I'm like, when I get older and I have my daughter, I'm going to give her everything. Because I had everything. It's crazy, like the memories that I have with my mom. <laughs> when I was a little girl, like... We used to go to Jacobson's every year around Easter time and get dresses and me and my sister would match and we had like the sailor outfits and I remember going to church and reading my poems and like my mom would be excited and the church was like clapping and I remember my mom taking me to play an instrument like my mama is my heart, that's my friend like it's a built-in friend for life. Like she's my mom. Like it's a friend. Like, <clears throat> and I mean, we're only 21 years apart, so it's not hard for us to be friends. But I wanted that like bond with my own daughter. And I know it's not over. I'm young. I'm 28. But yeah, this is just a little video diary of what I'm feeling on a Sunday night in my bed. You hear criminal minds in the back. Around. You probably hear my son snoring in their room. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Grab hold of my head.
So 